hate sewing, but like crocheting and like frogs, then congratulations! This simple frog pattern has very little sewing and has a lot of frog, including this annoying party hat. So let's get started with the materials you'll need to make this sweet little boy. First up, you're gonna need some worsted weight yarn in green and a contrasting color, a four millimeter crochet hook, nine millimeter safety eyes, a tapestry and sewing needle, black embroidery thread, stuffing, an obnoxious puffball, and a hot glue gun. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with that green yarn. And we'll begin by Magic Loop 6 Single Crochet. Go ahead and pull that tail tight to close. And we're ready to start round two, which will just be to increase in each stitch all the way around. All right, for round three, we're gonna go ahead and place one single crochet in the first stitch of the round, and then an increase in the next stitch. And we're gonna repeat that same pattern of one and then increase all the way around. So before we move on to round four, I'm gonna trim this magic loop tail because it gets in my way and bothers me while I work. All right, so for round four, we'll start by placing one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. So here's one, here's two, and then an increase in the third stitch. Just like before, we'll repeat that same pattern of one in the next two and then an increase all the way around. Okay, so rounds five through nine, all we need to do is put one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. All right, I'm almost done with round nine here. All right, so now it's time for us to put our front legs in. So we're gonna put a single crochet in that first stitch and then chain eight stitches. Then in the second chain from your hook, we're going to slip stitch and then do two more working down that chain to form the first frog finger. Then we're gonna chain four more stitches and then slip stitch starting in the second loop from your hook back down that chain to form our second frog finger and then one more, chain four, and one last, slip stitch three, and then to close off the hand, we're gonna grab the loops from the last two fingers, so the last slip stitch that we make go through there, the first fingers slip stitch, and then on the right hand side of the chain, we're gonna go through that same chain that all of our stitches are coming out of. And then slip stitch all of those loops together. Then we're gonna continue slip stitching back down the chain and towards the frog's body. Be careful not to twist your chain while you work back down. And then we'll slip stitch in that same stitch that that first single crochet is coming out of to anchor the arm to the body. All 
All right, so then we're going to continue putting single crochets in the next 12 stitches of this round. And if you check, this should line up it should be directly across the way from our first arm. And then we're going to make it the exact same way we did before. So chaining eight, slip stitching down three, chaining four, slip stitching down three, one last chain four, slip stitching all of the fingers together to form the hand. And then slip stitching back down the chain. And finishing off by slip stitching in that same single crochet the chain comes out of. And then to finish off this row, just put one single crochet in each remaining stitch. All right, so our front legs are done. We're gonna continue working around. So I wanted to show you how to get around these legs for the next round, because it's a little tricky. So we're gonna go ahead and single crochet in that first stitch of the round. And then if you fold the leg up, you can kind of work around it, but we wanna put it in the next single crochet and not in it's kind of tricky because it looks like there's a stitch there to put it in, like this slip stitch there, but we don't want that. That'll give us an extra stitch. So skip over all of that and just put a nice tight single crochet in the stitch just past the leg. Continue single crocheting around until you reach the other leg and then all the way through to round 14. So I'll see you on the other side. All right, so I'm finishing up round 14 here, and I'm ready to start my decreasing. So we're gonna start by putting one single crochet in the first two stitches of this round, and then a decrease by single crocheting two together, and repeat that same pattern all the way around. Okay, so round 16, we're gonna put our back legs in. So we'll start by single crocheting in the first four stitches of this round. So there's one, two, three, and then we're gonna chain 15 stitches this time because I like the back legs of the frog to be a little longer than the front. And then just like before, we're going to create the hand by slip stitching down three on this long chain. Then chain four, slip stitch back down that same chain. One more chain four to form the last toe. And then we'll slip stitch through the last two toes and the foundation chain to finish the foot. And just like before, slip stitch back down that chain to the body. Be really careful not to turn your chain. I know my frog was just kind of swinging while I was working on the toe here.
then just like before, slip stitch in that same space that the chain's coming out of. And then we're gonna place seven single crochet stitches before we do our other leg. The last leg's made the exact same way as the first one. All we'll need to do is chain 15 and then create each of the toes like we did before. Just like before, slip stitch that same stitch the chain's coming out of, and then continue single crocheting all the way around for this round. All right, so for round 17, we're gonna be working only in the back loop. So we're gonna place one back loop only single crochet, and then we'll place a back loop only single crochet decrease in the next two stitches. Just like before, repeat that same pattern around and then be careful while you work over the legs. <laughs> All right, we're gonna pull our last stitch tall and go ahead and stuff our frog's body here. Then once we get all the stuffing added, go ahead and reinsert your hook and let's do that last round by decreasing in all the stitches all the way around. All right, so time to fasten off. We're gonna go ahead and cut a long tail and then pull our last stitch through. Then we'll take our tapestry needle and thread that tail through. And then sew through each of these six remaining stitches to cinch the bottom of the body closed. So once you've sewn through all six, Pull that tail tight, tie a surface knot, and then depending on whether or not you'd like to kind of pose your frog a little bit, you can use this tail to tack down maybe if you'd like the legs to be crossed or if you'd like for the arms to kind of sit alongside the body better. You can use that tail to do that. I personally prefer the frog's arms and legs to kind of be a little wiggly, so I'm just going to weave this in. and then cut all the excess. All right, one frog bod done. Let's go ahead and get moving on to the eyes next. So to start the eyes, we're gonna need two of these. We'll begin by magic loop six single crochet and then pull that magic loop tail tight to close up this round. For round two, we're gonna put one single crochet stitch in the first stitch of the round, and then an increase in the next stitch. Repeat that same pattern, one single crochet, increase, three times total, To complete the round. Then for the next two rounds we're just gonna put one single crochet in each stitch all the way around.
All right, that wraps up the eye. So we're gonna slip stitch to the first stitch of the last round that we made. Cut ourselves a long tail to sew with. Yes, there is a little sewing in this pattern. Pull through, and then we're gonna take that magic loop tail and tuck it inside of the eye. All right, we need one more of these. So once you've got both of these made, we're gonna go ahead and attach the safety eyes. So grab your nine millimeter safety eyes, and then they go the row right above the last row. Repeat here on the other side, and snap the backs on the back once you've got them inserted. All right, we're ready to get them attached to the frog. So go ahead, grab your frog's body and your tapestry needle, and we're gonna use the tails to sew these on, but you've got a little variability here. You can attach them to the top or the sides. Just as long as you leave some space for the hat, you can kind of attach them wherever you'd like. So go ahead and thread your tapestry needle, and then we're gonna just whip stitch the eyes all around to attach them to the body. All right, so once you've gone all the way around the frog's eye, we're gonna go ahead and finish off by tying a surface knot. And then weaving in that excess tail just somewhere inside the frog's body. We give that a snip and then repeat on the other side for the other eye. All right, I've got both eyes attached. Now it's time to get that cute smile embroidered on. So with your sewing needle and your black embroidery floss, go ahead and thread and tie a knot on the other end. Once we've got that knot tied, we're gonna go ahead and send the needle from the back of his body up to the left side of his face. So pick a spot that you're gonna be able to hide the knot of the embroidery thread and pull this first stitch pretty tightly to send the knot on the inside. Then we're gonna sew a long straight stitch to form his mouth. I go down a row so it sort of sits in between the space between two rows. And then we're gonna sew so that we come up halfway through his smile because we're gonna need to anchor this curve otherwise he'll kind of have a flat mouth. So wrap your needle around and tighten the smile down. Then we're going to sew back through that same stitch that we came up through and over to the left corner of the mouth. This wrap stitch anchors the smile so it stays curved. Then we're going to widen his smile a little bit by sewing two short diagonal stitches on either side of his mouth. So go down through the same stitch that the corner of the mouth is in and repeat that same thing here on this other side. And then we're gonna add the corner of the mouth sort of like a cap to the smile by sewing just a straight stitch right along the top to give him sort of that cartoon style smile and we'll repeat here on the other side too. Go ahead and send the tail back to the back of your frog's body. Cute little smile. Then we're gonna tie a small surface knot and then weave this tail end in. And to hide that knot, we're gonna pull tightly so it sends the knot on the inside of the body. Then snip that tail and your starting knot tail. 
and his smile is officially done. All right, last we need to whip up his funky little hat. So I'm starting with some yellow yarn here. You can use whatever color you'd like. And we're gonna put three single crochet in magic loop. Pull that tail tight to close your first round. For round two, we're going to put two single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So we're effectively doubling our stitches. All right, for round three, I'm gonna kind of reinforce that point on his hat. So for round three, we're gonna put one single crochet in the first stitch here, and then an increase in the next stitch, and repeat that same thing three times total. So two more times for me. Here's my last one. All right, for our next round, we're gonna put one single crochet in the next two stitches. So here's one. And then an increase in the third. Just like before, repeat that same thing three times total. Last one. All right, next round, we're gonna put one single crochet in the next three stitches. Here's two, three, and then an increase in that fourth stitch. And we'll do that three times total, just like before. increase for me. All right, so we're ready to finish off the hat. So go ahead and take your stitch marker out, slip stitch to that first stitch of the round, and cut a long tail, because we're going to use this tail to stuff the inside of the hat. So go ahead and just jam the magic loop tail and the long tail inside the hat for stuffing. And then we need to get that obnoxious puffball attached. Let's so go ahead and grab your puffball and hot glue gun. And then with a little dab of hot glue, attach your puffball to the top. And because I promised this was a very minimal sewing frog, we're gonna go ahead and use that same hot glue gun to just glue the hat onto his head. So I like to put mine across all of the stuffing on the inside and then just pop it onto the back of his head here, pressing to make sure it's affixed. And once the hat is glued on, you are officially complete with this funky little guy who I think looks rather charming with his obnoxious puffball hat. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I would be delighted if you consider giving my YouTube channel a follow. I've got lots of patterns and tips that I'd love to share. Thanks.